get questions a lot about how Etsy sellers should utilize their social media when they're launching their store and whether or not they should dedicate time, energy, and maybe even money into social media content on behalf of their Etsy business. And everyone has their own opinion on this. I'm just going to share my personal opinion and share not only my personal opinion, but actually what I do with my social media for my Etsy shop specifically. So let's get into this video. As you know, when you launch an Etsy business for the first time, you're learning a bunch of new skills. You're learning Etsy ads, maybe photography, design, how to price your products, how to listing optimization, how to make videos for your products, right? You're learning customer service, right? There's so much learning that comes with launching an e-commerce business in general. In my opinion, to then tack on an added layer of pressure of, okay, now you also need to become a viral TikToker or learn how to make viral Instagram content, in my opinion, is just not the best use of your time for the return you're gonna get when you're also doing this whole other thing that is learning how to basically build a business. I would say from zero to your first thousand orders, you are gonna learn and change so much in that first ascent into your Etsy e-commerce journey. And so I would really say to not get distracted with social media so early on or be dedicating all this energy and time to it because there's so much learning and growth that actually needs to go to this other organism that you're growing. Because in reality, I could sit here all day and just make content. My whole entire day could just be dedicated to making content. Now I can't do that because I also run brands, but it has taken me a long time to learn how to do content creation. It is literally in reality could be someone's full-time job just to make content on behalf of your product. Not to mention if you do get to that point in your business, or in my opinion, if I'm to the point where I have time to make content for my business all day, I'm not going to drive the traffic from my Instagram account to an Etsy shop where I have to pay a seller fee for someone to purchase my product. I'm probably at that point going to drive the traffic to my own website, like a Shopify store where I'm not getting hit with any seller fee. Plus I am owning my sales data. So if someone buys from my website, I actually own that contact information and I can retarget them later on with emails and stuff. Etsy is a third party selling platform. So in reality, Etsy really doesn't want you to have contact uh, with your customer, right? So what do I actually do as far as social media for my Etsy shop? If you've ever seen any of my follow up videos, what I do is like the most minimal effort, but I still have an active social media account. So after every purchase I get, I send them a post purchase follow up message that basically asks them to follow me on Instagram. Instagram basically says something like this. Thank you so much for supporting small family owned business. We would love to continue sharing our small business journey with you. Please follow us on Instagram now for 15% off. I put some sort of offer there. If I send out this message to a hundred people that have purchased for me, I usually get around 10 to 15 new followers on my Instagram. And Remember, people that have spent money with you, they are the most hyper-targeted audience that you will ever have, right? And now you actually have them following you on Instagram. So it's the hottest traffic that you will ever have when it comes to getting repeat buyers. Now, when we get a new follower on Instagram, we obviously send them a discount code to their DM and we drive that traffic back to Etsy. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping that traffic back inside Etsy and maybe in the process you got a new follower, and you upsold them on a second purchase. Now, when they actually get their product, we have a product insert that says, if you love your product, please tag us in a post reel or in a story of you wearing your product. And then we basically will send them another discount code for basically getting UCG content, which is user generated content. Not to mention that if you may have upsold them, they followed you on Instagram and now they're tagging and sharing you with all of their friends. You maybe now even got usable content that you can reshare on your profile, right? You're killing like seven birds with one stone, basically. We're not spending a bunch of time trying to make viral videos and stuff like that. Well, now we are, but I'm also at that point in my business where I have time and <laughs> resources where I can pay people to do that. But in the beginning, it's likely that you don't have all of those resources at your disposal. And that's totally normal. But 
Before we had those resources, this was pretty much the extent of us growing our Instagram. And we actually grew our first brand's Instagram following to 6,000 followers just by sending out these messages and asking them to tag us on Instagram. Keep in mind that this works better or worse for different niches. In one of our niches where it was, you know, a fast fashion accessory, this worked really, really well. Whereas in our home decor company, it didn't work as well, but it is still growing our Instagram following and it's growing it for free or without spending hundreds of hours trying to make viral content. And while it is true that one viral video can really change the landscape for your store, right? It takes one viral video, one video to get a couple million views to really explode your business. So I'm not saying that that potential is not out there. I'm just saying that I know how hard it is to get that viral video, unless you're that person that just organically comes into this game, like already knowing how to make edits, already knowing how to make videos on behalf of your products. I would say, sure, go for it out of the gates. But even still, I would say I wouldn't drive that traffic to an Etsy shop. I would drive it to a Shopify store. If you're that good, I would own your own data, build a real brand that is off of Etsy that is even sellable one day in the future, right? Not that you can't build a real brand on Etsy. It's just, you know, if you want to own, be in complete ownership of your desk, destiny and that list that you're going to build of customers, right? You're going to want to drive that traffic somewhere else. So like I said, it's not that you can't go out and make videos and, you know, have viral content going at the same time. It's just kind of like me with my own YouTube channel, right? Every, out of every hundred videos I post, maybe I get a couple that take off and go pretty viral, right? But the amount of work and time and effort that goes into that content creation is a, a lot of hours and a lot of time and a lot of learning that isn't necessarily the best time spent for the return that you're gonna get when you're first starting your business, right? Keep in mind, I'm talking to people that are first starting out. Like if you're first starting out, this is who I'm talking to. If you're somebody that has been years into your Etsy journey, you have your Etsy engine pretty dialed in, and now you have time and resources to then now focus on social media, which again, in itself is its own business engine, right? It has its own business engine. It's basically its own sales channel, right? Because you can decide if you want the traffic to go to Etsy or Shopify. And in most cases, I would say if you're driving into Shopify, right, that's its own second business in a sense, right? That has its own needs, wants, fears, and goals and customer service <laughs> because you're going to get a lot of DMs and questions and comments as well. And again, there's no right or wrong answer. It's just asking yourself the question, what is right for you? What do you want to put your time into? And know the outcomes of a both basically. But for the most part, if you're not that viral TikToker or Instagrammer, your best time spent and most valuable dollar spent is going to be inside Etsy ads and launching new listings and products and competitive products on the Etsy landscape. Guys, I have way more full in-depth trainings on Etsy ads, how to drive traffic to your Etsy store. I have a full Etsy playlist dedicated to SEO, listing optimization, Etsy ads, every single thing that you need to know about Etsy. You literally don't even need a course. If you went through just my videos, you would know every single thing that I know about Etsy and building a seven figure brand. So make sure you cue those playlists and those videos next. By the way, guys, my name is Hannah and I have been documenting my e-commerce journey here on YouTube alongside building my brands. So if you wanna learn about all of my wins, all of my losses and every single thing that I've learned about Etsy and Shopify, please subscribe to the channel. Overall guys, thank you for staying to the end and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.